CataractCoach.com. Cataract Quiz. Where did the capsule go? In this nanophthalmic eye, the capsule just seems to disappear. And this is a tough eye. So again, where is the capsule back? It's a tough case. Now look at this patient. Very tiny little sunken in eyes. Very short axial length, 17 millimeters, definitely nanophthalmic. That's stressful. 40 Doppler lens. Now, you got the patient dilated up here. Let's take a look at what we got. Looks like some sort of central opacity there. Kind of get some viscoelastic in. Maybe get this sneaky broken, get that eye dilated. There's the iris hooks. Now, a little bit of tripen blue dye. You stay in the capsule. And now going in to do a rexus. So definitely you stay in the capsule. So that makes it easier to see. Now, here comes a rexus. It's a little bit fibrotic. It's shallow. No room for forceps. Remember, this nanophthalmic guy is tiny with a shallow AC, 17 millimeter axial length, AC depth, two millimeters or even less. And let's take a look, get that thing moving around, get it, Rex is going. Yes, we sped the video up, but you guys like that so we can get through the case efficiently. And now, let's see, maybe even having to use the cystotome to just poke in and do a little bit of a can opener. Sometimes with these fibrotic lenses, you have to do that, and that's okay. Now, phaco probe going in. Now you're saying, why use it purposely? Why the bigger phaco tip? Think about it, you're gonna put a 40 doctor lens and you need a bigger incision. So you can groove down the middle. Let's see, perhaps a little bit of a chop technique going on here. Very nicely done. Again, the nucleus removal goes pretty smoothly. It's a pretty dense cataract. These can be tough. Remember, there's much less working room. And it's a very large nucleus in comparison, to, especially to the short axial length. Right, the axial length is 17 millimeters. This lens thickness be, can be almost five millimeters thick. So now a little more viscoelastic to stabilize things. That looks good. Get that eye centered up again. There's the freed up nucleus. Again, viscoelastic, here's your friend. Get those pieces brought uh, into a nice position for aspiration. Here comes the phaco probe again. And aspirate all this stuff down. Uh, in these cases, sometimes it's helpful to put a fifth iris hook underneath the main phaco incision to keep that iris out of the way. But again, taking out that lens pretty nicely, very smoothly. So far, everything looks reasonable, right? Now watch carefully. The blue stain canterior capsule is gone. You're not sure of the bags. Where's the rex is gone? So now low flow IF cortex with the vitrector. Now there's no vitreous present yet. The vitrector is being used to take out the cortex here. And again, you can use this as a bimanual approach here. Infusion in the left hand, aspirating through the right hand with the vitrector just in case you need it. You can actually hit IA on the machine, cortex removal, and it won't even engage the cutter. And now it's cleaned up and look at that. The bag looks like it's just gone. Where's the bag? You don't see the Rex's edge, all right? Right, the blue stained capsule, where's it gone? I don't know. Is there a posterior capsule intact now? How would you know? So visco, that's going inside, now what? Hmm, doesn't look like this vitreous. So here comes a very intelligent move, and I've never heard of this before. So now using some blood from the iris to stain the capsule. Look how smart this is, this is brilliant, I've never thought of this. So taking out the iris hooks, let the iris come back down and get a little bit of that blood there that's on top of the iris and let that just kind of seep down. Maybe put a little viscoelastic to help push it out of the angle and let the blood flow down. There we go. Get that blood flowing down onto the, there it is. Now look, the little bit of tiny bit of blood can help stain and show, look, it actually is resting on the capsule. The blood is staining on the capsule. So now you know the bag is intact. Where did the rexus go? Well, it could be a very loose eye or loose capsule or bag. And as you um, took the cataract out, that stretched out bag kind of pushed up under the iris. Now here comes the lens, 40 diopter. 40, by the way, is the highest part we can get here in the USA. If your patient calculates out to like a 45 diopter lens, trust me, just put in the 40 and call it good and the patient will be quite happy. That's a single piece of acrylic lens, again, powers 40.0 diopters, and I like this idea too, suturing these incisions, a great idea. Wow, what a tough case. Leave a comment below, have you ever seen a case like this, so unusual, with a disappearing capsular bag? Comment below, and remember, check out our sister channel, retinarounds.com, so much great information. You will love it, even for your cataract surgeon just like me.